are making this easy for me. Done. Hey, welcome to From Scratch Ranch. Today's project is putting the roof on the shelter for horses here. We got Cookie, who is trying to get into the camera view here. And we also have Epona behind me. And we need to provide some better shelter for them, some, for the shade. So uh, we originally just threw up some boards up top to give them some shade until we can get the proper roof in place. Those are all screwed in, so it's safe. Uh, but now I need to get those rafters up. I got family in town, some friends in town. So they're gonna give me a hand in putting up all of these rafters. So the first thing we need to do is figure out the pitch of the roof that's gonna go in there so I can calculate out what my rafter uh, specs are so I can get that plum cut and my bird's mouth cut on the back side all cut on the first one and then we'll use that as a template to cut the rest of the rafters and get them up. They're going to be out here in a little while so I'm going to try to get all that done now uh, before they get here that way we can get rocking and rolling on that roof. All right let's get started. So to figure out how my rafter design is going to be is I first put a screw here at the height of my plum cut on my two by eight. So it's seven and a quarter inches on that plum cut. So I'm just measured down seven and a quarter inches right here, put a screw in and put my mason line on there. So that way I can string my mason line down to the other end, the mason line down to here. And I put a screw in right on the inside edge of where my rafter is going to sit on these rim joists here. Well, I got one on the inside and one on the outside. So I wanna find out what my pitch is gonna be on the inside. I'm gonna measure the bottom part of this rafter also from the inside edge to the inside edge. That's just gonna make things easier. So I put the screw in, in the corner there, strung my line in to that point there, and then I'm gonna use my speed square and put this right at the pivot point. And then look where my line crosses and it's at one and a half, just about one and a half there. So the pitch is, is not very steep. It is a very, very shallow pitch at one and a half. What that means is every 12 inches horizontally, it's going up one and a half inches. So that's gonna be my pitch. And I'm gonna use that then to calculate or to draw out my plumb cut on the edge of the, edge of the rafters on both sides. The other measurement I need is how thick this is. So what is it gonna be that I'm sitting on that I need to cut the, the bird's mouth um, cut the width of that. So the width of that is going to be six and a half inches. So I've got my six and a half inches. I've got my one and a half to 12 pitch. Now I need to measure my inside length here. So I'm gonna hook onto the screw here and measure from here to the bottom edge of that rafter. Now it'll give me my length. So now, come up here and it's 117 and a half inches exactly. So that's perfect. So now I know what the bottom measurement is from the inside edge to inside edge of those angles, 117 and a half inches. And that's what I need to measure to cut. So my first cut is gonna be up at the header on the top. So I need to cut a plumb cut at the angle I need for this to butt up against the header properly. So what I need to do is take my speed square and using the common, these are the common pitches here. So. Um, I was at a one and a half to 12. So I just need to pivot this, keep this at the very corner and pivot this up to one and a half, like so, and then draw my line down the edge. So that is gonna be my plumb cut up against the rafter. So it's not much, it's just a bare, it's a one and a half to 12 pitch. And then on the far end, these are 12 foot rafters. So on the far end, I do the same thing, but opposite. So the other one was from the top, the pivot point. The pivot point's on the bottom here. So now I pivot this down until I get to the one and a half right here. And then I draw my line. So these are my two plumb cuts, the, the butt end back here and the top end against the joist there. This will be all overhang here. Next, I just need to measure out my distance from the inside bottom edge of the plumb cut at the top down to where my bird's mouth cut will be to rest on the backside joists, the rim joists. Before I cut this, I'm just going to measure everything. Put a little screw in there so I can hook my 
tape measure to it on my tape to the 117 and a half is what we had measured up there for that inside edge. So that's gonna be the inside edge of where the rafter sits on the rim joists. So then I need to do my horizontal cut, horizontal line, and then my plumb line on the bird's mouth. So on the bird's mouth, I need to get this angle. It's gonna be a fairly shallow angle for my horizontal cut where it rests on the rim joists up there. So I just put the pivot point here at the inside edge that I measured the 117 and a half inches. And then I just mark between this one and this two right here. That's my one and a half. So I just mark it. And then that's where I'm gonna draw my line from here to here. And I know that I measured the width of that is six and a half inches. So I come in at my pivot point here at zero and I draw my line out. So it's lined up to where I just marked that one and a half pitch out to six and a half. Measure my six and a half. That's where I'm going to cut it off at. So there's my horizontal cut. So now I'm just flipping it over and finding the marker here at the six and a half inches. And then where it lines up the line in the middle there at the one and a half mark there. So that line comes through and then I just draw my line. So there's my cut, my bird's mouth cut right here for how it's gonna sit on those rim joists. Okay, there's my first plumb cut to go up against the header. I'm gonna come down here and cut the back end. Now I'll cut the bird's mouth. Now this is really small. So my circular saw is not gonna get very deep in there. So I'm gonna have to use the hand saw to cut in the insides. Okay, so I got the primary cut done. I'm just coming here with my handsaw. Get to the corners. There we go. Now we'll go get it up there and see if that's the right cut. If that works, then we can use this as our template for the rest. My help should be here soon. I'm gonna go ahead and dry fit this in. Okay, so I'm gonna lift this in place and then. Put this in place. I was gonna come under. You're gonna have to come up and over the back side here, so. How high do you want to let this? All the way to the top. Yeah. It's a good flush yeah. fit. Absolutely. Okay, let me look at the Okay. Um, okay, let's pull this one off. Really? Yeah, because this is the one I want to use my as a template. Oh, a template. Right. And I'll give you the other one that's down here. Wait. Jason, you're gonna tell me where I'm at on 
Keep going. Oh, right there. Right there. You're right on it. Put the template on top. These rafters look beautiful. Good, man. Can you reach eight? Okay. Don't tell Casey I'm working this hard. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> that looks like that's a pretty good fit. Yeah, this is a nice fit. Who cut that? to do it. I get to watch them work. Even this middle one I'm gonna need to cut. Was it sticking up? Just a barely little bit. That's what I thought. We're good now. So I trimmed all the tops off. Now I'm gonna trim this, this piece off the end. It's not needed. Cut that. This one's gonna stay out because I'm gonna actually have another rafter coming down to these extensions out for an overhang.
Oh, 